A lot of people have been asking me to create tutorials on how to implement character customization using VRART models in Unity. If you're one of those people, then I think you may like what I have right here. Here is our character, and on the left side of the screen, you can see there's a slider there. So I can change the face. I can change the eye color. I can change the skin color, which in Firoid style, because sometimes you have to draw your clothes on the skin. I can change the outer clothes. And I can change the hairstyle. So, how does this work? So here's the setup. We have the character that we want to customize here in the scene. And behind it, we have the list of all characters that we can download for free and available in Virat Studio. So all of the customization option that you see on the slider there in the intro comes from these characters. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to refer this model as a custom model and these models as a pre-made models. Just to differentiate between them and to make it very clear. And of course, all the functions in this video are linked to the on value change unity event in the slider and the on click event in the button. For the face and eyes, it's just a simple material swap. Using the script, we just replace the material of the custom model with the material from the pre made models, maintaining their orders in the material list on the skin mesh renderer component. The function for face and eye swap are almost identical except for some minor string manipulations so we only pick the materials with a certain name and ignore the first initial codes for the material name. Material swaps should also work with the skin and clothes of your Feroid model, but only half of the time, as you can see here. That's because the mesh or the structure of the clothes are different, like one piece dresses, hoodie and shirt, a different hoodie and shirt, and uniform sets. You can swap the materials only if the clothes use the same mesh, but it doesn't work too well on clothes with different mesh. Sometimes it can work, but I wouldn't count on it. Unlike materials and textures, we can just swap the mesh of an object. So, when the clothes use the same mesh, you can easily swap the skin and clothes materials like we did in face and eyes. But once you reach a certain value in the slider, hide the current model and show a new model. Repeat for all clothing mesh types. But by far, the most difficult part is swapping the hair. Because we need to swap the entire hair mesh. Which, as I said earlier, is impossible. The solution I came up with is to first separate the hair of your ferroid models in Blender and then export the hair as VRM file in Unity. Here's how. First, make sure you have downloaded the VRM importer plugin for Blender. This will download a zip file, but don't unzip it. In Blender, click Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. Then locate the zip file. If it's installed successfully, there will be a message on the right bottom side of the screen. Now, import the VRM file. Then delete everything except for the hair 001 object. Then export this as a VRM file, then import it to Unity. Import the hair VRM as usual in Unity. On your custom model, disable the hair game object, then open the root until you find the head game object. Disable all hair join game object, and then put the new hair inside the head game object. Adjust the hair position and scale so it looks good on the model's head. Repeat for all hair models you have. Using a script, we can enable and disable the hair game object from the slider. The only downside is that the hair physics are removed in this process. We'll fix this later somewhere in the future videos. As always, thank you for Javi for being an awesome patron. If you'd like to support me making the tutorials for Unity and Feroid, then consider becoming a patron to get early access to my videos early, as well as testing new tools I've made in the future.
like and subscribe if this video helps and with that i think i'll see you guys later goodbye